Gude. Koki AI was one of the pioneers in open source voice technology. Their tools made it easy for developers around the world to generate high quality synthetic voices. And their cool community provided lots of international and multi-language text-to-speech models. But at the beginning of 2024, Koki officially shut down. Josh Meyer, one of their co-founders, announced it on LinkedIn on January 3rd, 2024. Now, more than one year later, in May 2025, their GitHub repositories are still online and the models are still available. But are they still usable? The last commit on the Koki GTS repository on GitHub was back in February 2024. That's over one year ago. And in the open source voice tech space, that's a long time. And a lot has happened since then. And as Koki TTS is depending on Python, according to their README documentation, it is Python version 3.10 required or lower. But can we still use Koki TTS for speech synthesis <laughs> on um, newer versions of Python? Or do we have to keep an old version of Python to use Koki TTS for speech synthesis? <laughs> so let's find out. Mm. By the way, if you find my videos helpful, uh, please <laughs> leave a comment below, click obviously the like button and consider subscribing for more updates on text-to-speech tools and open source, <laughs> open, open source voice tech in general. <laughs> and do not forget this bell. Bing! <laughs> Thank you. Let's start by taking a quick look to their readme page. And as you can see by the commit message of the, requir of the requirements dev file, uh, the last one they added is Python 3.10 support and they dropped Python 3.6 support. If you take an additional look to the setup py file in the root directory, you can see the requirements for the setup of the package uh, itself. And if we scroll a little bit down, we can see this lines here um, saying that uh, if the Python version is less than 3.9 or equals or higher than 3.12, there would be an error message that Python, no, Koki requires Python higher version 3.9 or higher equals 3.9 and lower 3.12. So, 3.11 might be supported according to this code here, but definitely 3.12 and higher versions are not supported. Let's make a quick Python 3.10 test. I have an empty directory. Let's create with Python 3.10, which is installed in 3.10.11. Let's create a virtual environment with that. Activate this one. Let's install pip setup tools wheel with uppercase U for updates. Once done, you can see that my virtual environment with Python 3.10 is enabled. Just to be sure, let's run Python minus uppercase version. So we can see Python 3.10 is active by now. Now let's install the TTS package of Koki. While this is downloading and installing in the background, you can take a quick look to the Python package index org, search, search for TTS package. And you can see here that the Koki TTS package is uh, recently updated on December 2020 three, so short time before they finally shut down. Installation is finished. Let's run pip list. So we got a long list and you can see that the TTS package is installed in version 0.22.0. That is obviously the latest version provided by Koki AI. Let's make a quick test and see if we can list any models. So TTS list models. And as you can see, we got a list of uh, available text-to-speech models that are ready to use. 
And uh, let's just randomly take one in English language, which is not already downloaded to see if the download is up and running and start our TTS locally running web server with that specific model and Python 3.10. And as you can see, the model started downloading and uh, started the TTS server process. So let's open the web browser on localhost port 5002. Here is our Koki frog with the simple web UI. This is a simple test. This is a simple test. Uh, the TTS has been spoken, so the web server is up and running. It was processed our request and uh, we produced audio. So Python 3.10 check, which is not really surprising because this should be supported, but that's the proof <laughs> still working in 2025. Now let's see with the version Python 3.12, which is not supported or newer versions of Python. And again, at first, let's create a Python virtual environment with Python 3.12. We end Python 3.12. Activate this one. Let's see the Python version. And here we have Python 3, 12, 7. <laughs> so uh, let's do our update stuff. Once updated, let's install the TTS package from Koki AI, which should not work. Okay, <laughs> which should not work due to a uh, two high and modern Python version. So you can see lots of Python requirements which could not be satisfied. Okay, and that's it. Time of Koki usage over? Or keep an old and outdated Python version? Luckily not. <laughs> I found this issue here uh, describing the dependency issue with newer Python versions. And uh, this guy he seems to be linked to that new fork here and not just no they 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 do not just for provide they do not just provide a fork but they provide a python package so not just tts as the original python package index org package lots of package stuff in the, in the sentence but a koki minus tts that's the repository name, obviously all the links in the description box. And as you can see, at least here, updated two days ago. So this repository is way more active than the original Koki AI TTS repository. And on their readme, there is uh, this updated code sample here, pip install Koki minus TTS. So you see the difference, not pip install TTS, but pip installed Koki minus TTS. So let's copy this one. Go back to our command line. Let's see pip list. Okay, so no changes. Uh, so pretty basic new virtual environment. Let's see if we are still in the right environment. Yes, Python 3.12.7. And let's, no, let's run pip install koki minus tts. So you can see lots of stuff happening now, downloading, installing, and so on. So up to now, no dependency errors. <laughs> Let's hope for the best. And here we are. So installation is finished. Let's see pip list again. And we have this Koki TTS here by now in version 0 0.26.1. And uh, let's just go up and uh, start our TTS server with Python 3.12, which is not officially supported by the original Koki AI TTS repository. And we run into an issue. So let's see what the system is, uh, or what the message is. Server requires Flask. Okay, so if you run it on the command line only, this might work, but as I would like to use the Koki original simple web UI, we need Flask. So I probably could install Flask manually, or we can use this pip install uh, command as it's printed here. Let's 
copy, paste, run. Okay, that's not what I hoped for. So let's simply run pip install flask or flask installed and let's start the TTS server again and see if there are any additional missing dependencies. So no, this is looking way better. So it's running now and let's open localhost again on port 5002. TTS web server is running. This is a simple test using Python in version 3.12 with the uh, up-to-date fork of Koki. Let's this is a got. simple test using Python in version 3.12 with the up-to-date fork of Kakwe. Okay, I'd say this is a winner. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> so, uh, sorry for that. Um, but you can see we now have a Koki GTS server up and running in Python version 3.12. I hope you liked this video. Thanks, original Koki team, you did an amazing job. Thanks to the fork repository for keeping it up. Not sure if this works for TTS training processes, but at least it works with the pre-trained and existing models for using with newer Python versions. That's it for today. I hope you have a nice rest of the day. And if you like, we might see us next time. Bye.